Let's sit into cross your leg position. Just come into, well, most of you are already sitting on your mat, so stay there. Close your eyes and just focus onto your breath, coming into your breath. Especially if you're jumping around or dancing around like I was, you need to kind of catch your breath. And now we're going to get started with Kapalabhati breath and then Udhyana breath. Kapalabhati is the usual pumping of the belly, 70 Kapalabhati is on your own time. The Udhyana, I'll show you first what it is. I'll just stand so that you can also see better. Deep inhale, full exhale. Hold the breath, squeeze belly in, chin to chest. And let's do something. I'm going to do standing. Ian is going to do sitting if you want. But you guys are more than welcome to do standing as well. Sometimes this kind of breathings gives you more space to do it standing. So you're welcome to do it sitting or standing. 70 Kapalabhatis, five Udhyanas on your own time. When you finish, you just go back into a normal breathing, closing the eyes and tune in with your body. Okay, let's go. Gently open the eyes and transition into some side bends. Bring the left hand down to the floor. Inhale, reach up with the arm, right arm. Exhale, lean over towards the left hand side. Breathing in into the side body, into the rib cage. On the exhale, allow the body to lean towards the left, opening the right side. Filling up. 
Empty the head out. Press the right sit bone, the right bum cheek down onto the floor. Inhale. Full exhale. Breathe in. On the exhale, reach the right hand to the side of the room for your next stretch. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, lean towards the left and allow the neck to relax completely. Staying here with your ujjayi breath. So this week that it's ending, we did in our meditation classes, meditation around the Svadhisthana chakra, which is around the belly button area, around the sacral area. One more deep inhale. On the exhale, bring the left hand to the side of the face and bring your head to the center using your hand rather than the neck muscles. Switch to the other side, left arm reaches up, inhale. On the exhale, lean over towards the right side. Inhale, breathe into the side body. Exhale, allow the weight of the body to lean towards the right, opening the left rib cage. Breathe in, breathe out. Fill up, empty the air out. Inhale. Exhale, reach the left arm towards the side, come into your next stretch. Inhale, lengthen the spine, keep the spine long. On the exhale, let go of the neck. Breathe into the neck, into the side stretch. And like I was saying, the meditations we've done to balance the sacral chakra, which is where we hold all our emotions. So Kapalavati and Udhyana is also ways of purifying and balancing these chakras. Well, this chakra in particular, but also Manipura, which is what we're going to start balancing and clearing from Monday in our meditations. Chakras are energy centers where we store energy and sometimes they are unbalanced. Bring the right hand to the side of the face, bring the head to the center. And now transition into your tabletop position. We're going to do cat cow, but with, stretch, with a wrist stretch. So from your tabletop position, lean forward, bringing your shoulders over the wrists. And now round up the spine, tucking tailbone under. R rotate the elbow creases to face the front of the room and keep leaning forward with the wrists. Breathing in, breathing out. Rounding up through the spine, pressing the floor away with your hands and opening into the... Um, the wrist, you're kind of opening the inside of the wrist and then the inside of the forearm. And now transition to the center. Rota um, turn the hands to have the top of the hand down on the floor, thumbs to face, to face each other inwards. And then stick the bum up, go into your other cat-cow pose and then lean back quite intense in the top of the hand, so just stay there breathing. If it is too much, you can always walk the hands a little closer to the knees and then lean back a bit more. Keep your bum sticking up, chest opening towards the front of the room. And slowly release and now hands down onto the floor on tabletop position and just lift the palms off the floor, just gently opening into the hands, into the fingers. Going with your breath. And transition into your down dog. Walking the dog out, doing whatever feels good. Give yourself a few, few breaths here. No rush, no need to rush into anything. Sway the hips, roll the shoulders, bend the elbows. Any movements that will bring awareness to any parts, all the parts of your body. And 
And now step or walk forward to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, rise all the way up, sparking up the fingers. Exhale, hands into your heart center, close the eyes. Breathing in, breathing out. We're opening the practice with three arms. Inhale. Have an amazing practice and celebrate with this practice how far you've come, how far we all came together, not only in our practice of yoga, but in our lives, which is obviously helping us a lot in these moments of change. So let's celebrate. Inhale, reach up with your arms. Forward fold, exhale. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, step, walk or jump back, high plank to low plank, squeezing the elbows in. Up dog, inhale, lengthen. Down dog, exhale. Breathing in, breathing out. Walk the hands towards the feet a little bit more just so that you shorten your down dog stance and bring the right hand to the right ankle. Notice we're not twisting, so right hand to the right ankle. Inhale, press the floor away with your left hand. On the exhale, bring the weight into the right hand leg. Right leg is strong. Start to lift the left leg, maybe the little toes, and then maybe lifting the left leg off the floor gently. Slowly reaching the left leg towards the back of the room. Stay in your balance, stay in your breath. Breathing in, breathing out. No need to lift the leg too much. Gets a little bit more difficult. Deep inhale. Full exhale out. Fill up. Exhale slowly release. Switch sides. Left hand grabs hold of the left ankle. Ground down into your right hand and the left foot first. Press the floor away with your right hand. Bring the weight into the left leg. Left leg really strong. Now slowly start to lift the right foot. Maybe if lifting the right foot takes you too much off balance, then stay with the foot on the floor. Maybe the tips of the toes touching the floor for that extra support. Stay in your breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Fill up. Empty the air out. Inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Reset your down dog. Breathe in. Exhale, step, jump, or walk forward. Half lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bow forward. Step or walk back. High plank, low plank. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Breathing in, breathing out. Now we walk the hands closer to your feet. We'll shorten the stance and we twist. So this time bring the right hand to the left ankle. Now instead of opening the chest to the left side like we usually do, stay with your chest facing your foot, your left foot and parallel to the floor. Bring the weight into the right hand, into the left foot. Left foot, left hand on the floor, and then start to raise the right leg. Gets really wobbly, so stay in your in the strong legs here and strong side, left side. Breathing in, breathing out. 
Feel up. Empty the air out. Inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Switch sides. Left hand grabs hold of the right ankle. Transition the weight to the right side first. Be really stable, really strong on the right side, and then slowly start to lift the left leg, very gently and softly. The higher it goes, the more difficult and more wobbly it will be. Press the floor away with your right hand. Stay with the tips of the toes on the floor and just work on getting really strong in the right side. Maybe that's what you need to do today. And slowly release. Reset your down dog. Breathe in. On the exhale, step, walk or jump forward. Half a lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bow forward. Half a lift, inhale. Exhale, step or walk back, high plank to low plank. Up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. Breathing in, breathing out. Dolphin, forearms down to the floor. Bring the elbows parallel to each other. If it is too much for you today, Dolphin, maybe there's some niggling aches and pains around the shoulders or neck, then stay in your down dog. Breathing in, press the floor away. Exhale, reach up through the sit bones. Fill up, empty the air out, stay in your dolphin. Deep inhale, exhale, press the floor away with your elbows. Breathe in, exhale, release, down dog. Fill up, exhale, step, walk or jump forward. Half a lift, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands into your heart center. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, arms up, forward fold, exhale. Right leg, uh, left leg steps back. Come into a low lunge, but then lift the knee just a few inches off the floor and stay, stay with the foot tucked in. Inhale, arms up. On the exhale, go into a back bend, squeezing sit bones in, reaching back with your chest. Breathing in, exhale, hands to the floor. Step back into your high plank, one-legged low plank or scorpion like we did last time, last week. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. The left leg, same leg, reaches up, inhale. Exhale, step forward, warrior one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, wiggle the front foot, transition into your warrior two. Deep inhale. Exhale, bend into the front knee. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, extended side angle, reaching the right arm forward. Breathing in, breathing out. Deep inhale. Exhale, side plank with your right hand down onto the floor. So bring the right hand down, step back with your left leg. Hug the knee into the chest or grab the foot. Breathing in, breathing out. Fill up. Exhale, wild thing. Land the left foot down, keep the right leg straight. Inhale, reach forward with your left hand. Exhale, lift the hips. Fill up. Empty the air out. Inhale. Exhale, come back into your side plank and slowly transition into your crescent lunge. Stepping forward with your left leg. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sit low into your crescent lunge. Bend the back knee. Breathe in. Breathe out. Fill up. Exhale, twist to the left side with open arms so your, left, your right arm comes outside of the left leg. Place a book or support under your, left, your right hand if you need. Inhale, reach up with the left. Exhale, open and twist. Breathing in, 
Breathing out, squeeze thighs together if it is wobbly. Inhale, exhale, twist a little bit more. Fill up, exhale, standing splits. Inhale, half we lift. Exhale, fold forward, reaching up through the upper leg. Breathing in. Exhale, activate the back foot, lift the back leg. Inhale. Full exhale. Breathe in. Exhale, transition into half moon. So a bottle of water or a block under the left hand. Inhale, reach up through the right arm. On the exhale, open the chest. Breathing in. Exhale, go for a bind if it's there for you. If not, then just stay in your half moon. Deep inhale. Full exhale out. Breathe in. Exhale, hug the right knee into the chest. Hugging into the chest, bringing your shoulders to face the front of the mat. Grab the foot or grab the knee. Inhale. Exhale, reach forward with your foot or with your knee. Breathe in. Exhale, open to the side. Fill up. Exhale, go into your figure of four. Ankle on the top of the left knee, sit low into your figure of four. You can also place a block or a, the bottle under your hands for a little support here. Breathing in, breathing out. Fill up. Exhale, release, coming into standing. A little shake into the right left leg, maybe from the bum or the thigh. Rotate the ankle. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, dance this pose. Grab hold of the right ankle with your right hand. Inhale, lengthen through the chest. On the exhale, reach up and back with the back foot. Chest to face the front of the mat. Lengthening through the chest bone. Press the foot into the hand and lead with the back leg. So use the back leg to lift up. And slowly release. Inhale, reach up with the arm. Forward fold, exhale. Right leg steps back. Go into a low lunge, keeping the toes tucked, and then lift the knee just a few inches off the floor. Inhale, arms up. On the exhale, squeeze thighs together, lean back with your chest. Breathing in, breathing out. Deep inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back into your high plank, low plank. Go for scorpion if you want. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Right leg reaches up, inhale. Exhale, step forward, warrior one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, transition, warrior two. Wiggle the front foot. Breathe in. Exhale, bend into the front knee. Inhale, rest the warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Left arm reaching forward rather than up. Breathe in, breathe out, open the chest. Deep inhale. Full exhale out. Breathe in, exhale, left hand onto the floor, transitioning to your side plank. Press the floor away, lift the right leg or hug the knee. Deep inhale, full exhale. Breathe in, exhale, wild think. Land on to the right foot, inhale, lift the hip. Exhale, squeeze thighs together. Breathing in, breathing out. Fill up. Exhale, slowly come back into your side plank and slowly stepping forward with control into your crescent lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, ground down into your crescent lunge, slight bend onto the back knee, making that back leg engaged. Breathing in, 
breathing out. Fill up. Exhale, twist. So go straight with your left arm straight into outside of your right thigh. Place something under the hand if you need. For support, the left arm reaches up. Breathing in, breathing out. Fill up. Empty the air out. Squeeze thighs together. Inhale. Exhale, release hands to the front of your mat, standing splits. Lift the back leg. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. On the exhale, fold forward. Back leg active, back foot active. Good, very good. Walk the hands closer to the ankle if it works for you, or even bring support under the hands. Transition into your half moon. Block or a bottle under the right hand. Inhale, reach up, open towards the left side. Stack the hip, tuck the tailbone under, and flex the left foot so the left foot reaches towards the back wall. If a bind was there for you on the other side, maybe do it on this side. Pressing the foot into the hand, opening the chest towards the left side. From here, hug the left knee into the chest. Come into this balancing pose. Grabbing hold of the shin or grabbing hold of the foot. Come into standing big toe grab or foot grab standing pose. Breathe in. On the exhale, transition into opening to the side. Grabbing the knee or grabbing the foot. Deep inhale. Full exhale out. Breathe in, exhale, transition into figure of four. So here is your rest, sitting the bum back, chest forward. And if you need support on the, under the hands, go for it. Go really low into that right thigh. Bring the thigh parallel to the floor. Very good, good balance. Sit the bum really low. The lower you go with the bum, the more balance you have. Very good. And slowly release, release the left leg. Maybe give a little rotation into the right ankle, maybe some drumming into the right bum cheek or calf muscle. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, dance this pose on the left side. Bring the knees together. Inhale, lengthen through the chest. On the exhale, lift, reaching the left leg up. Activate that left foot, flex the toes. Lead with your back leg, lifting the knee. So this is a back bend. You wanna keep your spine long and spacious. Good. Squeeze your thighs together, especially the, the hip bone, the, the sit bones. And slowly release. Inhale, reach up with the arms. Forward fold, exhale. Half we lift, inhale. Exhale, step or walk back, high plank, low plank. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Breathing in, breathing out. Fill up, empty the air out. And we're going to do the same sequence, but one breath, one move. It's a flow, so flow with it, make it light, make it fun, and flow with your breath. Step forward, inhale, halfway lift, forward fold, exhale. Inhale, rise up, exhale, hands into your heart center. Flow, inhale, arms up. Forward fold, left leg steps back, lower the back knee down, inhale, arms up, mini back bend. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back, high plank, low plank, up dog, down dog. Left leg steps forward, warrior one, lower the back heel down, inhale, arms up. Exhale, warrior two, breathe in, breathe out. 
Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, extended side angle, reach the right arm forward. Breathe in. Exhale, side plank, right hand down to the floor. Heel up. Exhale, wild thing. Inhale. Exhale, side plank. Breathe in. Exhale, step forward, crescent lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist, open arms. Breathe in. Exhale, standing splits. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in. Exhale, half moon. Inhale, reach up with the right hand. Exhale, open the chest, open the hips. Breathe in. Exhale, hug the knee into the chest. Deep inhale. On the exhale, standing, grabbing the foot or the knee. Breathe in. Exhale, open to the side. Fill up. Exhale, figure of four. Deep inhale. Exhale, grab the foot, go straight into dancers. Knees together. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, reach up and back. Fill up. Exhale, slowly release. Mountain pose, close the eyes. Breathing in. Breathing out. Open the eyes, inhale, arms up. Forward fold, exhale. Right leg steps back, lower the back knee down, not all the way down to the floor. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back. High plank, low plank. Up dog, down dog. Right leg steps forward, warrior one. Lower the back knee down, the back heel down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Breathe in, breathe out, bend into the front knee. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Fill up. Exhale, side plank. Breathe in. Exhale, wild thing. Inhale, reach forward with the right hand. Exhale, side plank. Fill up. Exhale, step forward, crescent lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, open twist, left arm outside of the right leg. Breathe in. Exhale, release, hands to the floor, lift the back leg, standing splits. Inhale, halfway lift. Forward fold, exhale. Breathe in. Exhale, transition into your half moon. Inhale, reach up with the left arm. Exhale, flex the left foot. Fill up. Exhale, hug the knee into the chest. Create a little ball with your upper body. Breathing in. Exhale, standing, grabbing the foot or the knee. Inhale. Exhale, open to the side. Fill up. Exhale, figure of four. Deep inhale. Full exhale out. Breathe in. Exhale, dances. Grab hold of the foot. Knees together. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lift the back leg. Fill up. Empty the head out. Inhale. Exhale, slowly release, mountain pose. Close the eyes. Open the eyes, inhale, reach up. Forward fold, exhale. Half a lift, inhale. Exhale, step or walk back, high plank, low plank, up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. Breathing in, 
breathing out. Coming down to your knees for crow pose. So I want to show you a different version of crow. I don't know if you've um, done this version. So there is two versions. A good one to learn how the engagement of the legs is, is just by squeezing your knees into your arms. The squeezing is what helps you to be really strong in your core and in your legs to be lighter and lift up. But there's another way to do as well, which is your knee, the front part of the knee, this bony part of the knee goes into the, just above your elbow here, goes like this. And when you do this, you're stacking joints on the top of each other. So you lean forward, you have the knees on the top of the elbows, as you can see, and you lean forward. And this requires less effort, but still, because you need to lean forward so much can be a lot scarier. So give it a try. If you're comfortable with your crow, then stay there for a minute. I'll start counting now. Choose the crow you wanna do, maybe even crane with the straight arms. Otherwise, very good. Now, Ash, bring the toes together, squeeze the heels into the bum. Yes, perfect. Powell. Bring the toes together, look forward. Always look forward. Yes, very good. And then bring the knees higher into the armpits. Very good. 30 seconds more. If you came out, go back into it. Very good. Well done, everyone. Very good, Marie. Keep squeezing the ties together, squeezing the toes towards each other. Very good. Last 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. Very good, ragdoll. Ragdoll, let go of the upper body. And now gorilla pose, so massaging those wrist creases. Just place the hands under the feet and with the toes, massage the, the hands. Send the elbows to the side so you're still getting the hamstring stretch here. And have your shoulders and your neck completely relaxed. And slowly release. And I'll go into the, the funky arm balance. So I'll show you here from my side. You have your right forearm down to the floor. Actually, it's better if I show you that side. Let's flex it. Can you see me per properly? No. Just set up the things in a different position. There we go. Right forearm down to the floor. Actually, from a tabletop position, so make sure your hips are in line with your knees. And then right forearm down to the floor. And your left hand goes all the way towards the back, all the way towards your back knee. And then you lift the bum off the floor and you walk the feet forward. This is one pose. This is option one. Press the floor away, hips up. Rather than falling like this, press the floor away. Option one, stay here. Option two, bring the knee into the elbow like we were doing just now in one-legged crow. In one-legged crow, no, in crow. And then lean forward if it's there for you. Lean forward and balance onto your arm. Ooh, but you need to squeeze in. <laughs> Didn't go very well, this one. Let's try again. <laughs> So uh, from here, here, and then squeeze in, hug in. Looking forward, hugging in, and then you can either hug the other knee in or you can reach back. Very good. Or just stay in option one. Stay there for a few breaths.
Good. Swing forward, hug in. Yes. Very good. Press the floor away with your forearms. Good. Lift the hips high. Very good. Good. Yes. Very good. Hug in with your left elbow. Left elbow hugs in. Krupa, keep going. Get into it. Do a bit more. All right. Let's switch sides now. Let's do the other side. So the left forearm comes onto the floor. The right hand goes all the way towards the back knee. Left forearm down to the floor, right hand all the way back. Stay here. If this is already quite intense, quite challenging, stay here. Otherwise, press the floor away, hug in with the right elbow, lean forward, stack the joints in your right arm, reach up with the left leg, hug in, press the floor away. Very good, yes. Perfect. Very good, Mary. Yes, Emma, perfect, good. Nikki, good. And slowly release. Well done, everyone, child's pose. Now lay on your belly for some shoulder opening. We've done this, I think, on Friday, if you were on class on Friday. So extend the arms wide to the side, like a T pose. And then lean over towards the left side, opening the chest towards the left side. Place the right foot down onto the floor. The right foot is there to support you either to open more into the hips or even to bring you towards the, the left a bit more. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Now relax the neck. If it is too much, you can place a block on the side of the neck like Ian is doing here. Come back into the center, transition to the other side. So roll over towards the right hand side, open the hips. I always get really good cracks and pops in my spine when I do this. So it was really good. Relax the neck, place something under the head if you need, or just rest the, hand, the head on the floor. If you're someone like me that all the time has tension in the traps, this is really good to release that tension to really pinch into the muscles and melt any tension away. And slowly release. Bow pose, grab hold of the ankles. Flex the feet. You're welcome to squeeze a block between the thighs if usually you have any lower back um, sensation, you know, pinching or something. Inhale, lift the legs, lift the chest. On the exhale, squeeze thighs together. Keep both legs active. Breathing in. Exhale, squeeze shoulder blades together and release the neck completely. Fill up. Empty the head out. Deep inhale, lift the legs higher. Exhale, squeeze. Breathe in. Exhale, slowly release. Right side of the face onto the mat. Palms of the hands facing up. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more. Grab the ankles. Flex the feet. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lift knees. Press the feet into the hands. Exhale, squeeze. 
Breathe in. Breathe out. Neck is relaxed. Deep inhale. Exhale, squeeze. Show the blades together. Fill up. Exhale, slowly release. Oh, my God. <laughs> Left side of the face onto the mat. Palms of the hands facing up. And come up into your uh, child's pose, sitting onto your bum, extending the arms forward. And now transition into your down dog. Step or walk forward to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Chair pose, inhale, arms up. Exhale, sit low into your chair. Keep sitting low all the way down to the heels. Breathe in. Exhale, low boat. Inhale. Exhale, sway the legs, sway the legs towards the back and then come up into your chair with no hands. Breathe in. Exhale, sit low into your bum, low boat. Inhale, sway the legs. Exhale, chair. Breathe in. Exhale, sit. We're gonna do a few more, so that's okay. Inhale, sway the legs, and then chair. Good, let's go. Low boat. Inhale, sway. Exhale, chair. Breathe in. Exhale, low boat. Inhale, sway. Exhale, chair. Inhale. Exhale, sit. Low boat. Inhale, sway. Exhale, chair. Keep going. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, sway. Uh, low boat. Inhale, swing the legs. Exhale, chair. Breathe in. Exhale, low boat. Inhale, sway. Exhale, chair. Very good. Fill up. Exhale, forward fold. Half will lift. Exhale, step or walk back. High plank. Low plank. Up dog. Down dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. Right leg reaches up. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, stack the hips. Breathe in. On the exhale, you're gonna step your right foot between your hands, literally between the hands, good. Now you're going to lift the foot so the sole of the foot is facing the left side. And now from here, it's a dynamic half pigeon. So sink the hips low and then up, low and then up, keeping that right shin in, um, just behind your right uh, hand, Opening into your half pigeon. Ooh, it's good, Ian. <laughs> okay, so change. Maybe put the towel under the ankle if it's too much on the ankle. And now if you're ready to come down to your half pigeon, then do that. Maybe you need to place a block under the right thigh, maybe not. And let's stay in an upright position in our, in our half pigeon. And sometimes we need blocks. Sometimes I use one or two blocks under my hands just to keep me in a more upright position. Now walk the hands towards the right side, opening the left side of your hip flexors, especially the psoas muscle, which is quite a deep muscle. Connects our femur, the leg bone to the spine. A muscle that very often is either asleep 
or shorten from not being stretched because it's so deep. And this muscle not only is responsible for the alignment of our spine and contributes to the health of our spine, but also helps us with back bends. And having a tight psoas can also limit us, limit our back bends. And now switch to the other side, walk the hands towards the left side. And lots of these twists and going to the sides and so on, you really have to go as far as it works for you or you have to make adjustments to work for you. So when I twist to my left side, I have a block under my left hand and then I press the floor away with my right hand. And this helps me to get more into a stretch in my inner thigh and in my glutes. And slowly release, move the block to one side, go into your three-legged dog, little adjustments into the foot or into the ankle or leg. And release down onto the other side. Left leg reaches up, inhale, exhale, bend the knees, tax the hips, breathing in, exhale, step between the hands with your left foot and then open the foot to the side of the room. You can adjust the back leg if you need to, start to bring the back leg towards the back of the room a little bit more, it's up to you. Same thing here, follow your intuition. And then start to lower down, up and down, but with control, don't just sag the hips up and down, do it with control. Breathe into those areas you need the most. Maybe it's in the front leg, maybe it's in the back leg. And now if you're ready, you can start to lower down. Adjusting the back leg. Placing support under the hands. The support under the hands is more so that your spine is long and spacious rather than having to lean forward and be struggling. And the support could be books, could be blocks, or could be pillows, could be anything that you can just place under the hands to lift yourself a little bit. So if you feel very much into this groin area part, this is where I feel a lot in this side. The hip area is um, constituted, uh, I don't know how the, word, the right word, but <laughs> has lots of muscles, lots of muscles. Most of the time we in the yoga world consist, consist yeah, consist, that's right, that's, that's that. thank you, yes. Um, and in the yoga world, we mainly obviously learn and focus on the big ones, which are the quad muscles, the hamstrings, the glutes, the psoas, the iliacus, piriformis, um, some of those mus muscles. But, but there is so point that you start to connect a lot more deeper into those other muscles that you might not know the name, but you just know you're feeling, you're feeling the opening. And the body is made of so many different layers of skin and muscles and tissue that it never ends, it never ends. You will always find something else. Yeah, let's turn to the right side. Maybe place the block under the left hand so you can adjust your hips and find that juicy spot. And now turn to the right. So 
Same thing, I use my left hand to press the floor away to turn my chest more towards the right. And slowly release, come back into the center. Very gently breathing through the transition, transition into your three-legged dog. Oh, my right leg. And <laughs> little rotations into the leg. Child's pose is there for you as well if it feels good for you now. And lay on your back. Hmm. Lay on your back, hug the knees, happy baby pose, whatever feels good here. If you're doing happy baby pose, press the lower back down onto the floor. And now come into a figure of four in a laying position. So the right ankle comes above, it comes on the top of your uh, left side, close to the knee. And then you can either grab the front of the shin or you can just grab behind your thigh, bringing the left knee towards the chest while the right knee reaches forward. The right foot is active as well. And notice if with this pose, your shoulders come off the floor or the neck or the head comes off the floor, support them with something. So place towels or pillows or a block and just allow the upper part of the body to be completely relaxed. And now gently release, extend both legs forward, give them a little shake if you need, and go on to the other side. Figure of four or laying half pigeon, sometimes it's called laying half pigeon as well. And before you go anywhere else, make sure you're really active in your left leg. So press the left knee forward, activate into that left knee, and then bring the right knee towards the chest. And then use your breath to those areas where you feel strong sensation. Left foot is active, the left leg is pressing towards the front, lower back is on the floor. The neck and the jaw is completely relaxed. And slowly release, extend both legs forward, gentle uh, shaking of the legs or rolling the legs, letting go. Shoulder stand or headstand, if you're practicing a headstand, just be mindful of any furniture around. Use a wall or shoulder stand, rolling the legs up towards the ceiling. If you've been working from home, shoulder stand, it's probably a better pose to do than headstand since you're opening into the back of the shoulders, into the back of the neck. And you're giving the heart a break. So our heart works really hard having to pump the blood into the brain, which is completely anti-gravity. And here we're actually saying to the heart, you know what, actually yeah, the brain is now in the gravity direction. 
so the heart doesn't have to work so hard to to pump the blood to the brain that's why these poses are usually very relaxing and great before you go to sleep you can start to go into plow because with the blood going down to the brain and relaxing the nervous system allows us to feel relaxed and more at ease getting us ready to sleep At standards, you can go into your child's pose and plows. You can start to roll forward, vertebra by vertebra, rolling towards the front of the mat. Fish pose, place a block between shoulder blades. Lay on the top of the block. We've done a few back bends, so if it works for you to use two blocks, then use two blocks. <clears throat> I like to place two blocks and then a towel on the top of the block so that the doesn't dig into my the edges don't dig into my spine. And now roll over to the right hand side, remove the block or blocks. Supine twist, a few versions here. You can either do eagle leg supine twist or you can straighten the right leg. Keep the right leg straight. I find that this is really good for my calf muscles. And slowly come back into the center. Go on to the other side. We had quite a, an intensive practice today, but the good thing about yoga is that you never really leave without doing the cooling down and without giving that um, time for slowly stretching or cooling down the body or bringing your heart, heart rate down. And slowly come back into the center. Lay into your Shavasana. So in yoga, it's really important that we play with a heartbeat, with a heart rate that we challenge our body, we move the body through certain stress and stress means just the challenge of the poses, the challenge of the dynamics of the sequence. But it's always important to give that balance, the balance between effort and ease. And just allow your breath now to flow normal, no jai breath.
and in this place of complete connection to your body. Where the body and mind become one. Bath yourself into the feeling of gratitude. Gratitude for having a yoga practice to come to anytime you want. Gratitude for adjusting the yoga practice to suit your needs or to suit your life, your body. Yoga is flexibility, but it's to become flexible to the student. Yoga adjusts itself to the student. Passing yourself in gratitude for this life journey. of awakening the yoga practice within you. That it's more than just a trend, it's a lifestyle. Gratitude on how far you've come. Gratitude that no matter what, no matter what life throws at you, your yoga practice is always there. that something so simple as breathing, moving in a conscious way, moving with intention, could have such huge impact in our lives. the journey we are in, coming back to our mats is always the best solution, is always the best choice. journey we are in at the moment it's part of our journey Thank you.
Slowly start to wrinkle the fingers and the toes. Roll the head from side to side. Hug the knees into the chest. Roll over to the right hand side. Coming to a seated position, eyes closed, neck relaxed. Hands into your heart center, deep inhale. Full exhale out. We're closing the practice with three arms. Inhale. Oh. May all beings be happy. May I contribute in some way to the happiness of those around me. From Tom Knuckles to the Zodai Center, together we say Namaste. Namaste.